After being home for a week, I still had limitations, especially reaching up high into the cabinets. Mark's mom had mentioned that she had this grabber and that she'd bring it by. So I took her up on that offer, and uh, his sister Lori decided to come along and pick up Totero's lasagna. We had a real nice visit that day. Ever since I was diagnosed with cancer, Mark's sister Lori had wanted to take me to Holy Hill for a healing mass. Now that my immune system is stronger, I feel like the time had come. So Sharon, a mutual friend of ours, who's also a breast cancer survivor, and Lori and I made the trip up there. Here we are at Holy Here Hill. Here we are. It's spring and we're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get healed. Yes. We're here at a healing mass yes. and uh, we're hoping to be healed. Yes. I had my surgery two weeks ago. Sharon here had her surgery over a year ago, yes. right? So what is this? The basilica? It's or the basilica. Um, I believe they say like uh, Mary, help of Christians. Oh, okay. For, for uh, Blessed Mother. All right. Like the main church. Okay. And then yeah, the one downstairs was just um, a replica of the one in France. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, how do you keep all this clean? <laughs> I feel the healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, That's, Lord. You're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. It was wonderful. After the healing mass, Lori was excited to take us to one of her favorite restaurants up in Hubertus, Wisconsin, just three miles east of Holy Hill, the new Fox and Hounds. We had sandwiches, and afterwards the waitress was nice enough to let us kind of roam through the restaurant and see the eight different dining areas. going on today? Follow up with uh, my oncologist and my surgeon and then um, physical therapy. So today was a long day at the up at uh, Freightert. Um, we spent the whole day at the cancer center with follow-up appointments. Um, I started out having to go uh, to the lab to have um, blood work done so they could because uh, they haven't seen my my blood work since of course before the hospital and um, so I had my blood drawn while I was there I was just leaving um, of course I was looking like I look right now and um, this woman approached me giving me a pamphlet on wigs and how maybe I'd be interested in that she have, evidently has a wig, wig business on top of being a cancer survivor so she had breast cancer 10 years ago and now it came back in the other breast so she was telling me about that and um, I said I really have a bunch of wigs already but thank you and then we talked about lymphedema she asked me if I knew about lymphedema and then she showed me her arm which was crazy big her hand and her arm and so this is one thing that I've been kind of fearful of um, so she was telling me about that and be careful because it happened years later um, after I met with her, then we went to the oncologist's office, and um, when I first, before I went in for surgery, they gave me this pillow, and I thought it was great, and it's something evidently they give out, but well, they gave me just one, and I've had both breasts removed, so I asked for another one today, so now I got another one. So now it kind of helps to prop your arms up for a little bit more comfort. And um, so I asked the girl for that, and I got that. So now I've got my two pillows that I need, and then, the um, Freighter being a teaching college, there's a, a woman that came in, she's a fellow, Dr. Kroll, and she wanted to take a look at my incisions, and when I pulled down my little tube top here, she said, oh, those incisions are beautiful. 
So we keep hearing that over and over again. So us not knowing really what they're supposed to look like, you know, we both thought that they looked fine, but apparently in the professional world, they look great. <laughs> And that's all I've been hearing from all of the surgeons ever since the, the day I was in the hospital. So everybody keeps saying how well I'm healing. Um, then Dr. Chang came in and he talked about uh, my pathology report and the results of that and how happy he was to see how the chemo react, how the tumor reacted to the chemo and told us a few things about that. Then he also mentioned something about this study of uh, breast cancer vaccination that I could be um, a candidate for. So now um, I've signed the release form. It's something that I'm interested in that I'd like to see if, um, because I've had breast cancer, that's one reason why I'm a candidate, possibly, but then I've got to see if I'm the right blood type and if my immune system can handle all of this. So that'll be something that'll be going on um, for a number of months, maybe years. I've got all this paperwork to look at. So um, that was something that he talked about. And then I brought up the fact that I was in the paper with uh, the YMCA in Livestrong. This article was in the paper last week. So I wanted to show him how um, I thought that was pretty cool. And he was all excited and happy. And uh, so was uh, Dr. Kroll. And then I left from there. And my next thing was with um, Dr. Oh, then he talked about tamoxifen and how I'm going to be on tamoxifen for uh, f five years, possibly ten years, and what the side effects of tamoxifen are, and you know the results of it and all that stuff. So I will be on that for a while. Um, he might start me out, then stop me once I start radiation, and then after radiation continue again. So um, that'll be happening. Then I met with Dr. Yen, my surgeon, and she took a look at my incisions and said I was, it was quite lovely what she was seeing, the results of my healing, so that was a good thing. She seemed to be happy all around and said that I won't be seeing her for another six months. She also then discussed this vaccine trial that, because she's the lead professor in all of this, the doctor. So um, it's her trial. Um, but anyway, she talked about that. So then she had us meet with Maria. Maria went and sat down with us for quite a lengthy time and uh, discussed everything, had us sign the paperwork. Then um, after that, I had my appointment with um, the um, physical therapist, Gina, went to her and she ended up measuring to see what my range of motion would be. She had this little tool that she had to measure how far I could move my arm here and there. And she massaged it and then had me do a few exercises. So now I've got like a little booklet here with exercises in it that I've got to do. So that'll be, then I'll go to her once a week for the next couple weeks, I guess. Um, today I was also um, kind of freaking out about my eyebrows. I did my eyebrows today and I really like my left eyebrow, but I'm not crazy about my right eyebrow. So we went to the Wellstones, Small Stones Wellness Clinic. I always get that wrong. It's a little shop, a little boutique that have wigs and things like that. And I went in there and I said, do you have little eyebrow stencils? And there they had them. So now, hopefully, by using these, I'll be able to have some good um, eyebrows. I didn't think I did too bad here. She, she even said, yeah, that's a pretty good eyebrow. She liked that eyebrow, too. So um, anyway, I will hopefully use those things and be much happier. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my teacher, Renee Habig, from Ruther. I just realized he was my teacher from high school. <laughs> Where are you sitting? We're at Sears getting new tires because we had a blowout yesterday, oh, wow. which really stunk. Um, so we found a good deal here at Sears, and we're here to get our new tires, unexpectedly. Um, so we're just sitting here, and now Renee is showing me little techniques as to how to get rid of all of these uh, emails when you have a bunch of emails. He's trying to show me how to get rid of multiple emails on his iPhone. I haven't had a lot of luck at the moment. <laughs>
I have to go back. But it's been a nice visit, actually, just yes. kind of talking and visiting instead of just sitting here looking at the right. TV and, <laughs> and reminiscing about all the reminiscing people years ago. Right, right, right. Yes. Renee was the science teacher, and I know Karen, my sister-in-law, had a crush on you. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice to be proud of well. Yeah, she, she always, oh, that Renee, she always enjoyed going to your class and thought you were so interesting and you were teaching her they had to dissect a pig. Yes. That was really interesting and she, she loved doing that. And it came out for a little walk here on Sunday. I'm trying to get a little walk in out at the path. I can't do the whole path and I can't go fast, <laughs> but it feels good to be out here. However, I thought it was going to be a little warmer, <laughs> so I'm glad I have a hat and a hood and gloves. But we saw some few, uh, few signs of spring. We saw some pussy willow plants and a caterpillar, and we're hearing red-winged blackbirds and seeing a lot of people out here walking. There's a red-winged blackbird right there. But last time you tried to take a picture of one and he uh, wanted no part of it. He posed for a second and then flew off. We're going to be doing nature documentaries from now on, I think. Okay. We have a seagull that just landed on the ice to meet its ma mate. They mate for life. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Off to get some food. You be quiet. We'll hear them. Make their beautiful squealing sounds. <laughs> it's Monday. We're on the road again. Heading up to uh, Freighter. I'm a little frustrated because I've got these still three remaining drains out of the, the five that I had. And they still keep producing. Producing, producing, producing. Except for one. one yeah, one. one is coming out today. I called with my numbers and she said, well, no. Looks like we'll take the one out and I just am frustrated because I'm doing my physical therapy. Today will be my second day of physical therapy. And um, it's really difficult to lift your arm because those drains are pinching where the tubes come out of your stomach. It's really pinching a lot. So it's very hard to move my arms. I had some swelling over the weekend um, of my feet. Not sure why that was. So I called and told them that that was happening. But it has gone away. I just elevated my feet and uh, everything you know, seems to be normal. But I also started taking tamoxifen um, just last Thursday was my first time. So, all in all, my pain is not so bad. I'm dealing with being wrapped. I'm still wrapped ever since I left the hospital. I only unwrap when I shower. No neuropathy. Oh yeah, no neuropathy, that's true. My taste buds are back, I'm eating fine. Spicy foods. Spicy foods, which is what I love. Um, so all of that is good. Yeah. So everything is good. I realize I've come a long way. Mark has to keep reminding me when I get frustrated because I did have a, a little hissy fit on Saturday. He wanted to record me and maybe he should have because I was ready to cry. Three things happened at the plastic surgeon today. One drain was removed as expected, so two remain. No more ace bandage wrap, so that's great. And unexpectedly, I got 100 cc's of saline added to each tissue expander for a total of 300 cc's, or 60%. So my boobs were a little bigger as we dashed off to physical therapy. But basically, I'm just putting our tissue on stretch and then just working. You know, you don't want to be pushing on the expander right, and right. you can feel the edges of the expander. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you're going to make sure that your shoulders are cleared from a pillow or anything on there. And when okay. you go back, I really want those shoulder blades to stay down. You're going to come back and go back as far as you can to the point where you have stretching and one arm can go back further than the other. That's fine. Yeah, they don't have, okay. yeah, they don't have to be equal. So it's based on what it feels like to you. So you go to the point where you have stretching but not so much that you're tensing and it hurts. Mm -hmm. You hold for three seconds. How was that? Good. I feel good. I want a massage like that all the time. Did you take notes? <laughs> <laughs> take a little video. Mm-hmm.